The U.S. military and Norway's armed forces have a long-standing history of cooperation. And this year, Norway played a crucial role in serving as a strategic base for NATO's historic drills, Nordic Response, which is currently taking place in the Arctic Circle. With exclusive access, Newsmax interviewed Norwegian forces to gather their perspectives on various topics, including NATO's newest members and the significance of training alongside U.S. troops in the Nordic region. General Erik Kristoffersen, the Chief of Defense and Head of the Norwegian Armed Forces, shared his insights with Newsmax. During World War II, Norway was a neutral country. After the war, we learned that uh, allies are much more than friends. So Norway joined NATO back in 1949, and today we have also Sweden and Finland, our neighbors, as members of NATO. So when NATO turns 75 years in April, it will be 32 members of NATO, which is very important. This exercise, Nordic Response, was created, we renamed it Nordic Response two years ago, to make sure that we can integrate Sweden and Finland into NATO as soon as possible. Because there is no doubt that uh, we are much stronger together, and uh, Finland and Sweden will contribute uh, very much to better security for Norway, for the Nordic countries, but also for, uh, for the whole of NATO. So it's, a, it's, a, it's good to have so many allies aboard, and the close relationship we have, we have with the US Marines goes way back. So it's always good to have the Marines in Norway and, and we, have, uh, we have done some significant steps ahead for the, ahead for the future, uh, also when it comes to integration between our two countries. So it just showed, shows the importance of standing together in a more insecure world. And, um, and I think it's both in the, both in the US and, and European interest to, to keep these transatlantic um, alliances alive in a more unpredictable and a more competitive world. If Russia was to challenge NATO, that would be a huge mistake. Because an, an attack on one is an attack on all. It means that 32 nations now will respond. 32 nations with uh, democratic values, but also 32 nations with, uh, with a strong military. So it will definitely be a mistake again, like the war in Ukraine has been a mistake. Shelby Wilder, reporting from Alta, Norway, for Newsmax.